All right, uh, so our next video for our safety certification, we're going to be working with the planers. We have two different planers here. They both function the same way, they're just different sizes. This is a 13 inch planer. This is what we originally had in the shop. We did a lot of wood on it, um, but it's really made for more of smaller projects. So the way this one works is the same as this one. I just want to kind of point it out. On the top, you have your a height adjustment knob, and when you turn it one way, it goes down. When you go the other way, it goes up. The other one has the same thing. This is the table. Inside, you have two rolling blades that turn. And then you also have some rollers that kind of help guide the wood through it. You have your power switch here. And that's essentially the how it works with just that stuff. We also have our push blocks that help us push our material through. I have something a little bigger than this machine can handle today. So we're going to be using the bigger planer. So this planer is more of an industrial one. Uh, it can do a lot more wood at a lot faster speed. Uh, so it works way better for a lot of our big projects. Same kind of uh, parts here. We have our on off switch. We have our table. This one has a little uh, kick controller on it so the wood won't kick back at you. Uh, and then other than that, it's got rollers on the top and bottom and it's got the blade that spins. And there are all these little teeny tiny blades that are in there that cut away at the wood. So again, what a planer does is it takes your material and it just kind of slices it away a little bit at a time. With the small machine and with the big machine, every time we make a full revolution with the adjustment wheel, that's one sixteenth of an inch. So if I wanted to go down a quarter inch, that would be four rotations, so that would be four sixteenths, which is equivalent to one fourth. Okay? So um, I'm going to show you how this works. I have a piece of wood here that was glued together, multiple different species or two species. And what we're going to do is we're going to plane it down to one half of an inch. I need one more tool. The other tool we like to use with these are our contractor or carpenter squares. We like to set the carpenter or contractor square to the height that we want. So we want this to be at one half inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to measure the edge to make sure that as I'm going, I can see where I'm at. And once it's flush, the wood is flush with the contractor square. I know I'm at the depth we need. So as we put wood into the machine, we have to make sure we go with the grain, okay? With the grain. So to show you that, you'll see that our wood pieces, you can see how the adjustment of the grain is going this way. We wanna make sure we put it in the easiest way. So you can see how it's kind of pointing this direction. I'm going to turn the wood around so that's what's going to go in first. And you can see with the walnut, same kind of thing, we have it going in that way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to set the wood right here along the edge. There's this little rubber piece here. As I spin the wheel, counterclockwise it goes down. I want to make sure that everything is lower than that little plastic piece. And now I can see that it fits in there. Okay. You see, I'm trying to pull back and it's tugging. It's on that anti-kick thing in there. So it's good to go. So I'm gonna turn it on before I put it into the blade. Let it get up to full speed. And now I'm gonna guide the wood in. I can either use my hands or I have my tools here if I need to get really close to it. So you can see it pulled it in. I'll bring it back around. And it barely got started, so now I'm going to do one full rotation clockwise. That's one sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and put it in again. And out the other side, you can see that it's just trimming away a little bit. Another rotation. Another run. Take it back a little bit. Another rotation, another run. Sometimes it sticks a little bit going in. You don't want to over force it. If it sticks when it's going in, maybe I got to roll the wheel back just a little bit so it, it's at where it needs to be. Okay, we'll do it again. Roll it back a little bit. Okay. 
I've got it going pretty good. I'm going to do another round. And we're just going to keep going. You can kind of see that these species are getting smoothed out because they were taller. And now we're starting to hit this species and it's starting to thin out a little bit. So in the next couple of rotations, we should see a change to all pieces. And here you can start seeing it change on the different colors. So it's starting to pull off just a little bit of a layer each time. I can even hear on the machine that it sounds like it's trying to push more material over the blades. So I'm going to do another half one on this side. And then I'm going to take a second to check with my co contractor square where I'm at. Okay, I still got a ways to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do this side. Now it's really not part of the training, but I'll show you this anyways because a lot of kids do it. We glued these pieces together and we made sure there wasn't a ton of glue sticking out, otherwise it gets stuck in there and you start to get burn marks on the wood. So you can see we didn't have a lot on there as we started. So it shouldn't make a big mess. You can hear it cutting away. We're almost there. Okay. Let's go ahead and check this again. And now you can see that the wood is right where it needs to be. It's flush. So we've hit our half inch. So I'm going to turn the machine off. I'm not going to leave it until it's done running. And now we have essentially how to use the planer. So if you got any questions, see Mr. Singer, or sorry, see me or Mr. Harris. Most of the time, we're going to be the ones running this side. We might have you go on the other side and help feed through. But uh, we do want to make sure you know how to safely use this machine. That's all I got for you. We'll see you next time.